Simple science. How do you make an electric circuit? An electric circuit is made up of a number of components. You need a battery or batteries, which provide a source of electric power, and an electrical device such as a bulb, a buzzer, or a motor, to test if the circuit works. You can also include a switch, which can be off or on. Also, you need metal wire to connect these components up, so the circuit is complete, and electricity can flow from one end of the battery to the other. This circuit doesn't work because there is a gap in the wire. The circuit still doesn't work because the switch is open. Once the switch is closed, the bulb lights up, which shows the circuit is complete. Let's insert some different materials into a simple circuit made up of some wire, a battery, and a bulb, and see if it works. If a metal paperclip is inserted, the bulb lights up because electricity passes through metal. However, if a piece of plastic is inserted, the bulb won't light because plastic won't let electricity pass through. Metal is a good conductor of electricity, and plastic is an insulator. That is why metals are used to make electric wires and cables, and plastics are used to cover the outside of wires, plugs, and switches. That way, when you touch them, you are insulated from the risk of an electric shock. This is important when handling appliances which run on mains electricity. Mains electricity is very powerful, so it is dangerous to come into contact with it. That is why you should only use battery-powered devices when experimenting with electricity. A switch is a useful device to include in a circuit because it allows you to turn things on or off, and so prevent a battery going flat. You can make a simple switch out of a metal paperclip. What happens when you add an extra battery to this circuit? The bulb gets brighter. And what happens when you add an extra bulb to a circuit with one battery? The bulbs get dimmer. Remember to take care to match components in a circuit, so that the voltage of the battery matches the voltage of the bulb. Otherwise, the bulb might burn out. And don't assume the bulb will keep getting brighter if you keep adding more batteries. If you add too many batteries, the bulb can also burn out.